must go to the community. Yes. And you have mentioned three pillars. Now, in terms of the three pillars, Nana Dasi, are the community prepared for that kind of thing? Of course, the root based development infrastructure, which is the bottom up development architecture, supporting it, has in every community what we call the Community Development Council. It's from the community itself. So they are included, they own the development themselves. So the idea of them rejecting it does not even arise. It does not arise at all. But we have never heard of this from the government or the private sector. They decide something, come to the community and say, you do this, you do that, from afar. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. What works? If for the community themselves to have their own community development governor and to decide for themselves what is good for them. This is what we are doing in New Jersey and it is working and everybody is happy. It is there. I am there to expatiate further on these things. No, no, that's the very, the truth of the matter is that as we are expressing the need for community it is so depressing that as you drive around, walk around, you see so the individualistic tendencies. Eat for himself, God for us, for us all. Yeah. Why are we here where we are? Why? Please, this is because of the heritage, of the colonial heritage of the um, exclusive development governments, but we are changing it. And you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. If you read the book, the implementing root based development, it will tell you that development is not reckoned in weeks or years, but it is reckoned in decades. So Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't deceive yourself that for well, tomorrow everything will change. You need to change perceptions of people. And it is, that's why I've written them. That is why we will drive education into the public to change their mindset so that when they are doing, they will be conscious of it and change them gradually, systematically. We shall get there. Where there is a will, there is a will. Yeah, but can I assist in something with class? And um, we are where we are. We are where we are because in 1957, nobody dreamt of a root based model. It is now that through constant feedback interaction, through my own experiential knowledge, from inside and from without, I've been able to come up with a model. You've got to work with a model. And now I have come out with a solid model which has got a worldwide award. It's a global model. And we are doing it. And we are zooming it in Africa. So if you didn't see the light in 1957, now Oti has developed the light. Yeah. And we are moving. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so simplistically, today, Nana Dasebre Otibuati has developed the root based development model. Yes. Why must we think that it will work? It is well because it is solidly ingrained in all the communities. It is owned by all the citizens of the country as compared to the winner takes all. Why 49.9%? of the populace are excluded in the governance. That is not good. But here, all the community, every community has got its own community development governance. They own it, it belongs to them. So they will not pass it away. If you are in a family, are you going to throw the family away? You are part and parcel of the development process. So the idea of not working does not even arise. So let me tell you, it's taking a lot of logic, a lot of good.
gospel, a lot of impetus, a lot of Philip to reach where I am. And it is back by covenant I want to thank you for the wonderful exposition of what you are saying. Yes. But indeed, how did you arrive at this Rebate Development Club for not only nation Ghana, but the entire Africa? If you read chapter 3 of implementing the Rebate model, the whole chapter is built, is called the Genesis of the rule based model. That genesis will tell you that it is the Yadom Hiriel, you know, family structure that comes to the impetus in me. We, it is Nana Adakwa Yadom who actually killed in Jinjateri when he was just of notorious um, um, he, he, he was demanding a whole lot of things, including gold, filled in a brass pan. The brass pan in the, is in there. We really cut the head. We went to the Vyasi. We spearheaded, spearheaded the Ashanti war against the Jira. And we won in 1701. It is all there. That has ingrained in me the boldness, the gusto, the impetus to really move and then get something. So it is the year of India spirit which is driving me. And then there is also the Chile earthquake of 2001, February 2010. I was in Santiago where I had this Chile earthquake. I nearly died. From there, it inculcated in me the, the need to develop a disaster a production um, philosophy. So I, I developed a theory for disaster risk reduction. Where in August, I was 21, uh, 2010, I, I went to Cambridge and then delivered a paper and it got approbation from all scholars over the world. I developed this further into the root base. So it's a longish period. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's taking me 10 years to reach where I am. The Lord has a very amazing story to tell. But indeed, I want to find out from you. It's so depressing. Very depressing. How we are where we are today. Ghana is like 60 years plus, and yet we are talking about the basics. Basis infrastructure, basis of everything. Why? Is, is it? I I wrote a, a paper on population census. The need to use the data. What is wrong? The need to do scientific study surveys to know where the fault lines are in order to know where to fix it. Because if you don't know where the fault lines are, how are you going to fix it? You know, and you gave me the central spread of it, which people are reading. You see, we also have to have a maintenance culture. If you fix a road, it's necessary, but not so much. Mm. You have not finished. You got to develop a maintenance culture to maintain that road at periodic intervals. So we got to inculcate this idea into us. It's not a job. It's education, systematic education. Don't worry why, why we are where we are. But the important thing is that from now we are going to change it. The status quo ante should cease. You got to develop a new mood. That's all. Well, that's well, thank you so much for this wonderful insight that you are sharing with us. Just concluding this interview, what would you say Ghana must do going forward? Ghana, everybody should buy a copy of the rule based model. And then once you get it inculcated, Ghana will go places. That's it.
happy about that. In the root based model book is good. You need to go and get it. But in a simplistic statement, what must we do? So we change the psyche. You see, that root based model book has all the ingredients. See, the change of attitude, the community development governance, how to love your neighbor, how to include every citizen in the development structure so that every child, it doesn't take a, a general election, then you are excluded or you are included. That one will be out. You are always part of the development process. Until inclusivity in development, with this we shall go forward. So in 2024, as we embark on national election, solidly, what advice would you give to Ghana? It's yet too early to give a 2024 advice, since it's a stochastic process, and several things are going to come which must come into the equation. But we are monitoring, and once it approaches, you shall give us appropriate. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so Thank you. much.